Yo, what's going on, 67 Leather Squad? Today we're doing a ranked 1v1, and I am going the full lifesteal Kernanos build. I've done this probably probably two or three times. Like, there's two or three videos of me doing this, but it's fun every single time, and I love to do it. Um, but I wanna I wanna go back to a topic that we were talking about before this video started. While you know we have a minute about let's go 67 Letter Squad. Um we were talking about how high res if they balanced so so dual and joust are both ranked modes and in my opinion and many like higher up players opinions um if it's a ranked mode it deserves to be balanced and because this game is only balanced around rank conquest and not dual and joust it makes it very hard to get into dual and joust even though a lot of people, right when you hit 30, this is another thing I said uh, right beforehand. And uh, chat on Twitch, if you guys want to butt in with your opinions, I would love to hear them. Um, even though when I started playing the game, when I first hit level 30, when I started playing ranked, I was really scared to go into ranked conquest and be the reason that... Um, thank you, baby. And be the reason that we lost the game. I didn't want to be the guy that was like, you know, 0 and 14 losing the game and so I, I queued duel so i could learn the game more and by queuing duel obviously i learned the game more and now i can play conquest but i think a lot of people's issue is when they hit level 30 the reason that ranked has such a small scene is because they hit level 30 and then they play duel um and duel isn't balanced they're like why why do i care why will i play ranked mode when like it's just a pick based game and rather than like a skill based game and I think if they were to balance Duel and Joust um, and made it a skill-based game, regardless of picks, like it is in Conquest, then a lot of people, like, we'd have a higher player base in Smite. And not only just a higher player base in Smite in general, but specifically a higher player base of Ranked in both Duel and Conquest, and probably also Joust, because if it's Ranked... Um, if it's balanced in duel where you can 1v1 and go mess around and have fun um it's also going to be balanced in joust if they did that right if they balanced all the ranked modes individually uh where you can like hit up two of your homies that probably got you into the game and we're like yo let's hit up some ranked joust let's try to let's try to play that but you can't queue with the full team in conquest so you're always going to feel like the outcast if you're if you're learning the game i don't know i don't know i i always compare it to league of legends where they have uh well they used to have a 1v1 mode i don't know if they do anymore but they had a 3v3 mode when i played and that 3v3 mode they had because it was ranked they had the ranked 5v5 and the ranked 3v3 modes uh but because that 3v3 mode was ranked it was individually uh balanced with different items and different um it was a really long time ago, I know. But it was individually balanced with different items and different champions had different buffs or nerfs associated with them in order to balance them for that mode specific thing. And I think if Hi Res took away the teams they had working on other games trying to expand and leave Smite in the dust, and um instead they they focused on like also playing it, like the nerfs and the buffs and like balancing the ranked modes. Um I think I think Smite would be really big. Like almost as big as League because there's no third person MOBA other than Smite. I mean there's probably other ones, but they kind of stink. Um there's no third person MOBA other than Smite. So if you can if you can get balance under control in all ranked scenarios, then you're gonna have such a big audience. But again, I don't know. I could just be coping right now. Let me know what you think in the comments, obviously, but I could be coping because I love the game so much and I think it will succeed with a couple of changes. Um, but who knows? Maybe maybe they have that. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, nice. No, not nice. I didn't get it. Maybe they're making Smite 2 and they have a plan on Smite 2 to do ranked mode specific changes. You know, maybe, maybe they realize their mistake and they're just like, ah, Smite 1's not worth it anymore because we're not working on that as hard. And instead, we're just going to go 
and we're going to focus our efforts into Smite 2. And if they do do that in Smite 2, I will I will kiss every single developer. Ouch. Ouch. I think I'm okay with this because I have uber lifesteal. Edge. Nice. Oh, his name is Longer Legs. Good stuff, dude. So we're going Aussie into Blood Forge, by the way. I could go Soul Leader, actually. Maybe I should start Soul Leader. It's also possible that the current engine can't handle that much. That's actually a really good point. And I think you might... I think you might be right, actually. It is possible, because they use Unreal Engine 3, which is so outdated. So it is extremely possible that the current engine just can't handle it. Because there's been a lot of changes that I've, I've proposed specifically. <clears throat> there's a lot of changes that I've proposed specifically to Ajax. And be like, hey, can we do this? I think it would be really good for the game. And he's like, we don't have the capabilities to do that. So it could be uh, an engine issue. And that's a great point that I didn't even think of. I actually, I actually think it might be. Come to think of it. But I don't know. I think there's I, there's so much potential, and I think this Unreal Engine 5 unlocks so much of it that, like, it's so hard not to be excited about Smite 2 and its potential when you know how much of a limiting factor that Unreal Engine 3 is them. Because, like, let me put it this way. Old school RuneScape, you know, the one that came out in 2002 that we all played, that game started with Unreal Engine 3. <laughs> It started with Java and then developed into Unreal Engine 3. And uh, they still use Unreal Engine 3, and that's their graphics. Old School RuneScape can use Unreal Engine 3 and smite what this game Yo, right here. Hope you are doing well. Thank you. Uh, and this game right here is also using Unreal Engine 3. A very heavily customized version of it because it needs to be heavily customized in order to, you know, have that option to look this good while having Unreal Engine 3. Uh, but the fact that they can make this game look as, gold, as good as old school RuneScape with the same engine is insane. Like the team, the team they have is they're very skilled individuals. Every single one of them. As much as I hate on them, you know, like they're extremely skilled people in order to manipulate Unreal Engine 3 to look like it is now. And what they're going to be able to do with Unreal Engine 5 is going to be mind-blowing. It's actually going to be mind-blowing. Like, let me put it let me put it super simple. Something that would be a huge quality of life change and a kind of a massive buff to Giannis, to be honest, is... Uh, I typed in Giannis. But it's... You know how the portal, when you put it on the wall, when you put that portal on the wall, how it's just like a blue circle and you can walk through it? you're probably going to be able to see it like through it because they can actually code that in now in Unreal Engine 5. I could put a portal here on the wall and I could see the red buff, you know? Like, <laughs> it's it's crazy, but it's something that they could potentially work with. Now, again, that would be kind of a big buff to Giannis because you couldn't like gank him at his portals. So I don't know if that they will be doing that or if that will be the case or not, but... They have the potential to do that if they want. Like that's a that's a quality of life or a buff that they could do with with the tools they have at their disposal now. And it's just so cool to think about. And I'm very excited for it. There is gonna be there's an open play test. Oh, it's not open. I guess it's a closed play test in uh in May. But the NDA that we have is getting lifted. So I actually get to record content on it. And I am very, very excited about it. Because being able to actually record content on Smite 2 is going to be amazing. I don't know what weekend it is. They haven't told us what weekend, I don't think. Or I'd have to probably ask someone. Um, <clears throat> but whatever weekend it is in May, I am literally sitting my ass on my computer basically for 72 hours straight and playing Smite 2 and recording content the entire time. I'm going to have so much fun. <laughs> I'm very excited. <clears throat> also, this game has been kind of like normal. 
I'm life stealing a bunch. I'm always full HP. He does have beat stick and streaming as well. Yeah, I'll be streaming it as well. Also worth noting that Unreal Engine 5 is still being worked on. Yeah, Unreal Engine 5 is still being updated. Unlike Unreal Engine 3 that stopped being updated 15 years ago. All right. Uh, I guess we go Crimson Claw now. Because I have so much lifesteal that Crimson Claw will basically... They'll give me that full 15% HP shield with like an auto attack. And I am staying in my green stance form, by the way. Because it gives me... 15% lifesteal. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't know it spawned. That's not fair. That wasn't fair, man. Dude, even with beat stick, I'm healing 50 per auto. 54. I don't know where he is. <clears throat> All right. Phoenix damage. A lot of Phoenix damage, actually. Has Harris talked about other game modes in Smite 2? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like I like I said before this recording started. <clears throat> I think that duel and joust, both modes, either need to be balanced or removed. I think I think having two ranked modes that are unbalanced completely is hurting the player base rather than helping it. So I would be okay. Honestly, I'd be okay with either. If, if Smite 2 doesn't have duel, obviously I'd be like, oh man, that kind of stinks. But like, I think it'd be better for the game and I would be okay with that. So I think that's like a... That's a big thing that I think Hi-Rez needs to talk about. Is if they plan on keeping the modes. Which would be... It would be sick, by the way. If they did keep them, just so we're clear. I don't want them to get rid of it. I want them to balance it. But if they can't balance it, getting rid of it is the next best, next best thing. Even though I've, I've literally made a career out of playing Duel. For 11 years. But that should, that should be even more of a reason that, like, you should listen to me, right? Like, it, it is such an important thing to my life personally. That, like, shouldn't you want to listen? Shouldn't you want to listen to the guy that's been playing for, like, this, mo this one mode that's not balanced for 11 years? Probably. I think. Holy shit, I'm healing so much, by the way. Look at my health. I'm not going to use my two because life steal. And I don't even have Soul Eater finished yet. Oh my god. I'm missing all my auto attacks. Hold on, I'm owning. Hold on, I'm owning. Hold on. Okay, you're deceased. I'm deceased! Wait, he's got ult. I'm dead. No, he ran away. Okay. Hold on. We're chilling. Oh, jeez. I'm very scared. He's got all the anti in the world, and it just doesn't matter. Let's go. Red buff down. Next lifesteal item. I can't even buy it yet. I need another 100 gold. There's only five lifesteal items. I have them all. What should my last item be? I could just be crit chance, to be honest. Like a boomerang? Is this going to be on the ground long enough for me to pick it up? Oh, that is so hot. Let's go. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, you're right. I could go Jotun's Vigor. You're right. You're actually so correct. Good call. See, that's why recording with a chat is actually, like, really helpful. <laughs> um, How much is that? 2,800? That's kind of a lot, though. Oh, I kind of do damage. Holy Batman, I'm owning you. you can't escape nature's 
I do a lot of damage. I don't have beads up though, and I am ste stepping next to fountain. So I could be getting owned here. Wait, hold on. No! Oh, nice. GG, baby! I gotta calculate how much lifesteal I have. Okay. 22.5. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna whip out the calculator. Hold on, we got this. We got this all together. Calc. Whip that out. Now I gotta wait. I gotta wait until we get out of lobby or out of game into lobby. Longer legs, GG. By the way, I like your name. I think my game is is messed up. I have to restart it. Plus sixteen. All right. Scoreboard. Bring up the calculator, open up the monitor capture. Let's do this thing. So 15 base, because that's what my one gives me, okay? Plus 22.5. So plus 22.5. Plus 22.5 plus 18, so that's 40.5. Plus 40.5. Plus 15% lifesteal and 15% ability lifesteal. So we'll just, we'll count that as 30. Because it it is it is 30. And then that's 15%. Technically, technically 15% health shield doesn't really count as lifesteal, unfortunately. And then Blood Forge gives you 15% also. Which means we are at 138% lifesteal. <clears throat> which doesn't matter exactly because I'm capped out at lifesteal at 80%. <clears throat> but I guess technically it's 95% because it goes over HP bar. I don't know. 140% lifesteal though, basically. 138% to be exact. That's pretty insane. That's a very fun build. I feel like I feel like there was a, a couple times I was close to dying there, but I even with him having max anti heal, which is it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure it's eighty percent. Um, I was still healing like forty HP per auto. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> you know something I I want to ask, and I want to ask this on recording because I want to know if the comment section knows the answer to it. Is his eighty percent anti heal? Does that minus off of my 138% giving me giving me still a 58% anti heal? Or does it still give me 58% life steal if you minus 80% off of what I had? Or or is it 138 times 80%? So it would it would leave me with it leave me with 27.6% life steal. Either way, that's still a lot of fucking life steal. Which is pretty insane. But anyways. Comment down below if you know the answer. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all. Peace.